Welcome back to my subscribers and g'day to any new viewers that have popped in. My name's Chase from Kinetic Images Australia and this video is about splitting an 18 speed Road Ranger. Hope you enjoy. Here we are again. Uh, the splitter is can be done at any time. Most of the time behind the visors are the pattern shift patterns and details about pre-selecting and the 18 speed. So coming back to the actual gear stick itself. You my other video before this one uh, showed me just taking my foot off the accelerator and back on the accelerator again and the gearbox was able to make the split smoothly. This one doesn't. This one prefers to have the gear stick movement. So again, if we were unsplit, as I say, the engine's off at the moment, but if we were unsplit, we wanted to split this gear, we just split and come straight back into the same slot and it'll work every time. You can downshift and upshift in the split position. So if I wanted to not unsplit this gear, if I wanted to just change a whole gear, in the split position which is forward and that's easy peasy if i want to downshift in this gear so i just wanted to downshift in this gear i'd and go straight back in if i wanted to upshift straight back in so it's a it's a it's a case of when i pull this gear lever into neutral and apply the clutch and apply the clutch again and put it in gear i've taken the load off the gearbox which allows the splitter in the gearbox to make its mesh and it's changed nice and smoothly. A sh skip shift in the split position, so I'm forward, so I'm a split, and I'm still in the forward position. So you can do anything you, you can, you want normally in with this gear stick, anytime in or out of the split position, no problems at all. Um, it's just a matter of remember that when you're making a split in an upshift or coming back and doing a downshift with the split. Remember, it's a lot quicker on the revs. When you split, it's quick. When you unsplit, it's quick. You'll see me doing it quite regularly when I have the camera mounted up the side here. But don't be shy, split any time you want. Um, it's very helpful if you just want that little bit of speed to get up a hill, and you just want just that little bit of extra revs. You know, if I wanted to downshift here, I'd just, straight back in and I'd pick up another 250-ish revs and um, that will be all that I need. Pretty dangerous road coming up here, it's very tight. But we're going to talk about splitting, and the part about splitting gears is that you can split any time, any gear. You can downshift and upshift split. In other words, you can stay in the split position and downshift a whole gear. Um, it doesn't matter when you split doesn't matter if you split easy split hard now one thing to, to really 
to get your head around is splitting the gear is super easy and it's just another gear it's the same as all the others um, when you're moving the gear stick which I like to call a whole gear I'm just going to turn my headlights on here and because I know that the road's tight um, so you can upshift or downshift whilst you're in the split gear so at the moment I'm split now and I'm going to change a whole gear split and it's the same delay as I said in my previous video it's the same delay um, when you uh, when you change a whole gear whether it's in the split position or the back position it doesn't matter um, it's still a split gear it's still a whole change it's still around the 400 revs drop now I've, I've got no load on as, as I showed you before but I'm going to simulate because this road is quite rocky and it's uh, sorry quite hilly and it's quite tight so I'm gonna to have to slow down for some corners to make sure that my trailer doesn't uh, cross the road too much because um, there's not a lot of room for other people on this road to be able to pass especially a semi trailer so we've got the engine brakes on we're in the split position I'm gonna go down a gear in the split position and um, it really is quite easy don't be afraid of the split gear that's the only thing that makes an 18 speed an 18 speed um, it is the ability to split each gear now I'm going to unsplit and change so that's a half gear unsplit and move is a half just slow down a bit more here because it is tight go around the corner and try and look as far ahead okay so let's say I just want to go down a half gear I'm in the back position forward gear so if I split and come back it's just a half gear downshift and that might be handy if you're just about to get to a pinch of a hill and you just you're trying to get over it and haven't quite got enough momentum and you just need that little half gear just to get you to climb over the hill um, it's perfect. I tend not to use the splitter much when I'm empty and I tend not to use the splitter pretty much at all in the bottom box in the low range with the front lever in the down position. I tend not to use the splitter at all unless I'm on a really really steep hill and I'm fully loaded and I really need actually every gear I can get I will use it then. So under engine braking now with my foot on the brake a little bit I'm in the forward position so I'm split and that's just enough to arrest my speed so I can just slowly go around these corners got a tractor in front of me he's turning off which was nice of him I'll give him a little toot and say thanks and um, we'll continue on now um, if you were to ask me hey Jace what gear are you in bugger if I know the actual number of the gear I don't know half the time and really it is irrelevant what number gear I'm in what I need to know is by feeling by my pants in, in the seat, of my, seat of the, on the bottom I can feel if I'm losing speed and I'm going to need to downshift or if I'm gaining speed and I need to upshift by putting my finger on the splitter not even looking at it I can feel a groove in the back so that way I know that it's in the forward position, I know that it's in a split gear. Um, so let's say that you know I'm losing speed and I'm trying to get over a hill and I'm, he I'm heavy and the, the motor's just not got enough to get me over. I'll know that I can come back and give it a little rev and that will be a downshift half gear or a downshift unsplit. So I'll do that in a second coming into a corner here and you'll notice that I stay I, I come out of the gear and then straight back into the same slot that I was in before um, I don't know whether Eaton Fuller recommend that be the method you use the other truck that I was driving at the time was quite happy for me just to take my foot off the accelerator and place my foot back on the accelerator Whoa. Off the accelerator, oh, thanks mate. Off the accelerator and back on the accelerator, Gee, that was tight. And um, 
that was enough for the gearbox to change its gear. This gearbox doesn't like doing that. It's, it, it would prefer that I actually take the gear stick out of the gear that I'm in with the split change and put it straight back into the same slot that I was in. Change the whole gear. Now we've got a tight little bridge up here. So I go down the whole gear again using engine braking. Over a little bridge. Down some corners. Very tight corners. There's no room for another car coming the other way, so I've really got to concentrate here and make sure I don't see another car coming the other way. Well, at least if I do, I've got time to hit the brakes and stop whilst under full control. Just for those of you uh, international viewers, uh, I think I was speaking to a guy from Florida in my last video. Um, we're currently in northern New South Wales, Australia, um, in an area that's called Ballina, or the Ballina area, and Byron Bay, which you might have heard from. And these are cane, there's a cane crop to our left, and we crush that, and get a raw product, and then from that raw product, we can have a raw sugar, and then we can refine it further and have our white sugar. Whee! Machinery and stuff everywhere. So we're just making our way through these cane fields, through these trucks. And they're harvesting at the moment, so they're madly cutting their cane, and you can see the crop's fairly, fairly tall and fairly mature. And, um, so more sugar cane trucks coming from our left hand side and not slowly I might add. So I'll slow down and he'll slow down. Change down a gear. So that's just a quick introduction to the little hinterland of Byron Bay and Ballina area in northern New South Wales, Australia. In the next video, we want to take you for a little tour around our oversized extendable trailer, which is used for our uh, long loads. It has a single cylinder diesel motor that drives a hydraulic ram that steers the rear triaxle group axle. Um, we use this predominantly for all our long loads and it has a remote control, which is very handy to have. You can either use it in a car following the truck making wide radius turns or we can use it as we reverse into tight areas, as you see here. Uh, this is the boss doing a left and a right hand turn as we're reversing in a 30 metre load. Very helpful and this video should be pretty entertaining. So thank you very much for stopping by. Welcome to any new viewers and please like and subscribe to help me make more.